Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage your host for tonight's show, Johnny K. We are so thankful to be here at Jag Rabbits. We are so thankful to see all of you. Do I have any first timers in the audience who have never seen a Matt Calford improv show before? <laughs> people being pointed at, people raising their hands. Good. Who's been to one of our shows before? Yeah. All right. Welcome back those of you who have been here before, and to those of you who are here for the very first time, thank you so much for coming here and finding us, and you are in for an entertaining night. Who here also has never been to Jackrabbits before? It's your first time at Jackrabbits. Excellent, welcome. So Jackrabbits is a live music venue. There's all sorts of fun and interesting things that go on here. Um, bands, it's a very nice intimate space, so we love performing here and uh, it's a great stage for what we are going to do tonight, which is unique. This show has not been done here on this stage before. In fact, Matt Calford has not done this show before uh, because this is the show, the graduating show of our musical improv class. We've never taught this class before. This is the inaugural class. All right. Oh boy. So, so it was any anything that they do poorly reflects badly on me as a teacher and a coach. So, anything good they do is on their own. Anything bad they do, blame me. Blame me. It's true. It's true. It's my fault. It's my fault if anything goes wrong tonight. It is my fault. It is all on me. Get mad at me. Throw beers at me. Demand your money back from me. I won't give it to you, but uh, you can demand it. So, no, we have we have a wonderful show. You might notice there's a gentleman here with a keyboard and a guitar. You probably heard him warming up. This is Craig. Craig has been with us through the entire class. He's been co-teaching and, uh, and uh, playing music for them, and he will be playing music tonight. I stress to you, everything that we do tonight is improvised. Uh, the music is going to be entirely improvised by Craig. They don't know what he's going to play, and the songs and music are going to be improvised by our performers. So it is entirely made up on the spot. Do you believe that? Yes. You should. You should. Trust me. Please. Please. Trust me. Uh, but so just like any of our other improv shows, it's going to be reliant upon your suggestions. We are going to be getting things from you that are going to inspire the songs that they are going to sing because everything we do tonight is going to be revolving around music. So uh, to get them started, you know, songs need inspiration. So you will be giving inspiration. So if you were to think of something lovely, on the count of three, shout out something lovely. One, two, three. Petunias, petunias and flowers. Two pinball machines. Okay, I heard petunias, I heard flowers, I heard a something pinball machine. A new pinball machine, wonderful. If you thought about something that you would want to, um, something that just makes you angry, makes you upset, yell that out on the count of three. One, two, three. Traffic. Not using a turn signal. Broken okay. Traffic and not using a turn signal and a broken pinball machine. Good, so two sides of the same coin uh, with the pinball machine. So we will be getting inspirations from you and that will inspire them to sing a song. So we have a wonderful cast tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the Rhyme Ski! this next game, and I need three teams to form behind me. One, two, and three. So, to get us in the mood for rhyming, 
Uh, we are going to start off with a game called Beastie Rap. So, does everybody know the Beastie Boys? Yes. Who doesn't know the Beastie Boys? All right. Yes. Uh, just, just uh, you got a phone in front of you? Do a Google search. Just say Beastie Boys. Read the Wikipedia article. You'll be fine. Okay. So they're going to be. They're going to be doing a little bit of competitive hip-hop right here, and they're going to have to rhyme some words that you're going to give them. But here's the way they're going to do it. So right over here, we've got Sandra in front, and we've got Jared and Donna behind. So the idea is Sandra is going to set up a line that's going to end on a word, and Jared and Donna have to say the exact same word at the exact same time. So if they're going to use my name, like... Oh. Uh oh, some shades are already being thrown behind me. So if my name was John and they had to rhyme John, uh, Sandra might do a line which goes... I'm walking down the street with my friend... John! John. Except we're together. Except we're together. Exactly. We're more together. So, so no, 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 not yet. So they have to say the word at the same word at the same time. If they don't, if they fail to say the same word at the same time, or they fail to come up with a word, or they fail to rhyme, or they repeat a rhyme, they are going to get that as a point counted against them. And the way that we know they've messed up. We need your help. We're Matt Calford, so we don't boo, we moo. So we need to hear, I need to hear from you an angry moo on the count of three. One, moo. two, three. On three. One, two, three. Moo. That is, that is, that is quite angry. That is quite angry. So Maddox is, Maddox is on the mic because he's going to, he is our expert in-house beatboxer and he's going to be the one laying down a beat. So he's going to help out with the beat, but we need a word from you that we are going to rhyme. So uh, like I gave my name, which is a one syllable name. Does anybody else have a one syllable name? Rob. Rob. Okay, Rob. So Sandra, we're going to start with your team. The Justin word is Rob. Rob. Maddox, give us a beat. <coughs> Yeah. 
so Terry steps forward. So now let's get, let's, we'll slow the, down the beat a little bit because we're going to get a two syllable word from you. See? Kumquat. Might be a little hard. Steven. Steven. That's good. Steven. Steven. We're going to start. Terry. Two-syllable word. On corner. Corner. <laughs> corner. 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 Right. We're gonna start with you. Corner. And that topic is summer vacation. Summer vacation. So summer vacation is the topic. Each of these four players are going to sing their own little verse about summer vacation to a little ditty we call the hoedown. Players, are you ready? Yeah. All right. I say to myself, Tech, am I ready? And I hope I am. 
So this is the summer vacation hoedown. Nope. <laughs> not, 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 not season. Was connected on Bluetooth a moment ago. Need to figure out why did I pull the cord out of there? Sorry. <laughs> Technical deal. Again, if it goes wrong tonight, it's my Hi, fault. Thank you. Entirely justified. Entirely justified. Let's try this again. There we go. Man, it's really hot outside. It is not way cool. But at least all the kids are now out of the school. I hope that your ticket is worth price the worth price the pay mark. If you do not like it, then Johnny says it's fault. <laughs> I like to watch movies and go out all the time, but I'm all alone because I've only got my wine. <laughs> Summer vacation, it is lots of fun, sitting by the pool and soaking up the sun. I get a break and I do not have to learn until I get a third degree sunburn. Yeah. to make sure that they could come up with lyrics. <laughs> See? <laughs> All part of the plan. All part of the plan. This is why I am not really responsible for the music, but now we are going to make sure Craig gets his due as a musician, and we are going to hear who loves Broadway musicals? <laughs> who, loves, who loves duets? <laughs> Well, we're going to have our first duet of the evening, so I need Maddox and Andrew to the stage. This song, this scene will be inspired by something, so let's go back to something that you find beauty in. So uh, who, I heard petunias and flowers and things like that, but what is something else that somebody finds to be uh, intriguing or beautiful? Architecture. What? I'm sorry. what? Architecture. Architecture, any particular style of architecture? Spanish. Or, or a Spanish, okay. Spanish architecture is your inspiration. So, this scene, they will do a bit of an improv scene and then at some point, the music will begin, the song will take over, and we'll hear beautiful singing and music based upon the suggestion, thank you, of Spanish architecture. Take it in three, two, what? Great crown molding, I must say. <laughs> See. <laughs> really, uh, really is nice that our ancestors came over here just to build this house for us. Yeah, I, I think I think it's gonna be a great spot for us, honestly. A great place to just you know start our life. Yes, I agree. See. <laughs> And what a life we have now, living in America. Exactly, I mean, you, you can't get architecture like this anywhere else. I mean, we've, we've had a rough journey to get here, but we made it, you know? We're here. Spanish architecture at our fingertips. It's, it's almost like a dream. Like the crown on your head of the light. 
So I will embarrass everyone with my uh, music selection. So, again, this could go horribly technically wrong. Uh, but let's see what my library of songs are. Yes, indeed. Somebody say, somebody say stop. Stop. Okay, here we go. Sing about, so I need a suggestion of like a concept like capitalism or not that or an abstract <laughs> idea. Sandwiches. 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 Yeah. sandwiches. Yeah. Excellent. All right, so sandwiches is your suggestion. I will wait all day 
final two. And once again, Tony, tell me to stop. Stop. Yay. No.
your money, eat your food, go everywhere and do it too. Cause this is America and you can make it. I tell you, cause you ain't got to fake it. <laughs> Something you love to do uh, in your spare time. Taxidermy. Taxidermy. This is our taxidermy scene. Sam must take it away. I, that's. I think we weren't supposed to stuff that way. <laughs> oh, finally. Jeez, I didn't think it ever give. I know. But you did a really good job. Oh, oh! It's gonna oh. be stinky in there. It's gonna be stinky in there. Just pretend like you can't smell it. And look at, like, imagine it when it was alive. When it was, like, full of joy. When it was full of love. Imagine it when it was breathing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And now we have we have one final game before our uh, the end of our first half. I need Melissa, Terry, Andrew, and Sam back on the stage. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, we uh, we we hope that you are not sober tonight. That you are drinking. And you know, St. Patrick's Day was only a scant. Three yes, months ago. Today, that's uh, not today. Yeah. yeah. Well, crap. So uh, we are going to end the first half with a little drinking song about one of you. So um, who here feels like they're an interesting person? <laughs> <laughs> Rob. Okay, Rob. Yeah.
guy's bad side. Does mm. he write a video game about you? In the next video game, he'll jump your height. And you may die a million times from all the bombs he drops. Well, who cares? He's from Jersey. And my Jewish mother with plots. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Thank you so much for coming.